Well, here we are, Baxter. Here dead. we are, Andrew. In the afterlife. Dead. Are we dead and loving it? If you see the devil, tell him I'm looking for him. I don't see the devil. I only see a blue shaft of light and a hollow-eyed dead boy. Is that... Should I be seeing that? What version of hell are you running? <laughs> you... Hell 2.0. Mega hell. Super hell. <laughs> Creative sweet hell. <laughs> uh, uh, what was I gonna look at? I need to look at my gear. So what's our plan of attack? What are we doing today? Uh, don't get killed by bears. That's right, we encountered bears last time. Yeah, and they kicked the ever-loving poop out of us. We're not at three yet. We're on the way to three. No, three just... We're at... Oh no, kind we're, we're still in the three. Happy Village. Yeah, we're, we're... This is the the quest that branches off from Tucson. Oh, refreshing herb. Yeah, I tried to take some of that refreshing herb, but you know, the cops. <laughs> <It's> pretty empty, <laughs> but... I don't know. Yeah. You can eat it. If you want. If that's how you... get down. So, uh, I was pondering this last time, and I can't remember if we addressed this or not, but... I want to know, well, I'm curious, what does the world in this game, what sort of form does this world take? Do you think it's one large landmass? Do you think we're ever going to see an ocean? We, we have seen the ocean before. We went uh, west of uh, Won It, and we saw a dude who played the blues standing by the ocean. Oh, was that the ocean? Is that what that... It appeared to be. It could be a really big lake or something, but there was a cliff yeah. and there was water. Okay. I mean, do you think we're going to go to other continents? Like in Final Fantasy no. style, where we're going to get a some sort of vehicle and fly around the world to... I wish it was like the Secret of Mana, where we get a little drum we can use to summon a dragon. Or do you think it's just going to be we have to walk everywhere, but there's not even really a, a reason to, because we're not going to have to come back or anything? Yeah. Uh, the last time I refused to pay the full price for these eggs, and then they all turned into chickens, which were useless. I mean, so I, I, I was theorizing that they, they might turn to chickens no matter what. Mm, I bit my tongue. You right? No, I bit my tongue. Didn't you hear me? <laughs> Don't do that, for God's sake. Seriously. What the fuck am I doing over here? Real rotten business to the inside of your mouth. Pa pass me one of those butterflies. I think I need one. <laughs> you need to relax. Yeah. You man, what are you a cop? I'm on edge here. Narkin ass narc. I need to find a. a... Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fifty bucks. And don't forget to do your blue blue chant before bedtime. Alright, now we're all juiced up. I like that little whistle that goes on behind the music in this. I mean, it's like, you just know there's a saucer hovering above all this. <laughs> ah! <laughs> we're not these guys again. Ugh. Ow. Ugh. The question is really, no. why are they attacking you? Because like, they're insane cultists, man. Yeah, but you seem to be interacting with the, you know, other members of this cult just fine. Maybe they are relatively sane cultists. <clears throat> what the hell were we talking about before we started doing the show? Movies. God, this combat is boring. We're talking about Mel Brooks and why Mel Brooks is, is funnier than Monty Python. You're gonna start a conflagration in the comments. Dude, there will be rioting. If we got if we got comments, I would be ecstatic. <laughs> what if they were awesome, typical YouTube comments like "Yo, you dudes are faggots"? I'd still be ecstatic because <laughs> then that would mean someone will have watched this video. First of all, if if someone said that, I would ask him to repeat himself because I didn't understand. Yo, you dudes are faggots. I'm speaking perfectly clearly. Something's wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
This is stupid. <laughs> See, now I know why we don't have any comments. <laughs> <laughs> The first step is to produce an interesting video. You know, the entertaining kind. Video? Leave that ball to what for? There you go. I did. Ugh. I'm glad this did not become the archetype for all JRPG combat because, jeez, Lou freaking wheeze. How old were, were you? I mean,. I'm sure we've looked at... When did this game come out? 93, I think? 93. When did Final Fantasy come out? Before. This is a Super Nintendo game. Uh, Final Fantasy was a S Nintendo game. Was Final Fantasy 2 a SNES game? Depends on what you mean by Final Fantasy 2. I don't know, we've man. We've, dis we've discussed this in the past, and you hate it. But uh, Final Fantasy 2 is two four. in Japan, the actual second... Yeah, yeah you doubled the number. So three is six. Huh. Except in the case of Final Fantasy One. Yeah, which I guess is always one. But uh okay, so was Final Fantasy was Japanese Final Fantasy two a SNES game? Uh I don't think so. I think the first three were NES games or Famicom games. And four was was entrance into the SNES. I think so. I think four was definitely the first one that had like I think mode seven graphics. Yeah, because I oh well, I, I mean yeah because the the regular Nintendo didn't have a mode seven chip in it I don't think. Yeah, it couldn't it couldn't get down with with sprites in that way. And Hang I, on, I and I know I know Final Fantasy quick. four like I I know in the form of Final Fantasy two like I I played that and I played six in the form of three. Which were yeah. both SNES games, I know that. I, know. I remember uh, when I had my DS still, I accidentally bought Final Fantasy V, because I thought it was six, Like a fool. Is it really and bad? And I hated it. I just... I played it for a while, and it was like, it just seemed like a really typical Final Fantasy game. And they introduced the job system, which becomes like a, became like a big deal in uh, like Final Fantasy Tactics. Hmm. But, like, any character could become any class at any time. But they would have to earn... It was total. It was bizarre, and I didn't like it. That, and, like, that the idea that, like, cool none of these me. characters had, like, a... Like, none of the characters had, like, their own identity as a person who did things. Well, right, was, but, like, but did you level up the different jobs? Like, did you level up the guy or the job? I think both. Because they got, like, hit points and stuff, but they, they would have to learn special techniques for each job. Oh, I see. So, you would be tougher. Like, if, if you your guy would get to level 10, let's say, and he would be tougher than he was at, at level 1. Uh, but, and and he would be, like, a level 10 wizard or whatever, but since he, he hadn't been playing wizard up until that point, uh, he just didn't have any of the special wizard skills. He yeah, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have like the the hot. If you were like a level one white mage, he would not have any good white mage spells. Did it have uh, a XP and AP, and your AP was applied to your to your job uh, that you are currently holding? I don't remember. It's been a long time since I got rid of my DS. Eat that banana. That banana did not return as much hit points as I was hoping it would. Did you have a DS or a DS Lite? A uh, regular DS. It was a gift from my. It was a hand-me-down from my brother. So you had Generation One DS. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of weighty. Sigh. Pokemon X and Y look really cool, but I mean, I, I just cannot imagine buying a 3DS just for that. Like, I can see that. What's the, what's the 3DS cost now? Oh, no! Oh, crap. I just shouted that into my microphone in genuine terror. <laughs> Ugh. Gots to deal with this bear. The enemies in this yeah. game are so unassuming. I don't want to kill that bear. He's that bear looks... As we discussed, he looks like the bear in the big blue house. He just wants to hang out, man. I want to hug him. He's just trying to blaze it up. 
420, bro. <laughs> Plays this mighty bear. <laughs> That's not not the angle I was getting from it, but okay. <laughs> oh my god! Maybe we should do one episode of this where we just get totally blazed. Wouldn't that be? I live in constant paralyzing fear of the police. Anyway, also, what, 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 what were we saying right before? <laughs> you, you yelled, oh crap, and then we changed directions. I tried to flee from this mole, oh, yeah, and the mole we got about, me all up in the spine. We were talking about 3DS. Um, oh, yeah. The, uh, yeah what's the 3DS cost now? Oh, gosh. It's still certainly over $100. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, I just could not see paying $100, because I don't, I don't I want to buy other games for it. And not just a hundred dollars, like a hundred and forty bucks. Hey, wait! I just realized. I want like a super Game Boy. Yes. You for... can become the proud owner of my Notebook Carbon. Oh. Okay. Available only Shit. from the eShop. You're saying I can get my Notebook Carbon? You could have well over sixty-three pages of. Dude, why would I ever need that? Impossibly accurate. That is so many pages. simulating experience. Oh my god. I think just did 50 damage to us. Jesus. Wait, is that is that 63 pages both recto and verso? You just blew my mind. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Re recto is the front side of the page, verso is the back side of the page. Oh. So it's like, when I get... Is that 63 sheets of, of virtual paper where I can write on both sides? No, I believe that that's 63 page fake. For God's sake! This is insane! How long are these sheets of paper? Are they like 63 eight and a half by 11 sheets, or... I have no idea. Point is, my notebook is terrible, <laughs> and but you can they, take people who made it like, dude, you can play pen and paper games. Games not included. You ne you would never need to buy a PDA again if you had my <laughs> notebook on your DS. Not ever. You would. In fact, you just got yourself an assistant. Just. Uh, this game is, for God's sake, <laughs> this is insane. They really want you to fight these moles and bears. Ugh. Which, by the way, I, ain't I won't too, do it. I need to start. Keep, we've been playing about five minutes, right? Ooh. Yeah, we want to play for. I think we've been playing for about ten minutes now. Okay. Well. It's, yeah. It is uh, ten oh seven right now, so I will. I will call us at ten twenty. How's that? Sounds good. Uh, there better be a present over here. Shit. There was a. This present sucks. Over. Oh. Oh. Here we are. That looks like a boss to me. Where we were getting our asses handed to us. All right, we need to we need to get G'd up. You're like the blaze this caramel. The the three magi going toward the the star. Christ is at that star. That's oh, your dear. salvation right over there. Come and get it. Paralysis. Be the speed. No, don't go into the All light. All right. Wait. So. Naomi told us that the dude we have to fight... Are we wearing... Oh my god, we're wearing no armor at all. That's terrible. She told us... Did you drop the armor because we ran out of inventory space? No, I, I think we didn't. I didn't realize that the charm was applied to the body. She wants us to use this badge. Oh, it, we just have to have it on our person. Got it. There's a uh, there's a boss around here somewhere that uses lightning attacks. That's that's supposed to help us with. Well, uh, okay, that's gonna be the. Uh, I wonder if the are the broken machine and the uh, orange machine or whatever it was gonna have something to do with this. Possibly. Leroy. Take it from me. How did he know it was my yeah. second one? How did he know I got to the first one? All, everybody else in this world has a cell phone, except you, oh. who has a receiver phone. 
It's like, yo, this gate can't dial out. Dude, it isn't a bear? It's, it's the Grimace. He went <laughs> mad and started working for Burger King. He turned, he turned brown. <laughs> and That's what happens when you go to Burger King. Got a little ketchup on you there, Grimace. <laughs> Let me let me just get that for you, homie. You know that special sauce. Is there a bubble on on his belly? What is that? You see that? Ew. That little like discolored no, spot. That same color is on his paws too. So I think it's just a highlight. I hope it's just a highlight. This guy is filthy and he must be destroyed. He's the Mondo Mold. Yeah. That's right. Can't touch this. I need to get the soundtrack for this game. I really like the the beats on this. Uh... This guy hasn't touched us yet. We're balling. No, dude, he's. You know that when he does touch you, it's gonna be something brutal. In the meantime, you can't touch this. Can't sing any more of that. I will have to pay MC Hammer royalties. Oh, you were correct, sir. It's time for the gloves to come off. Are you gonna get a chance? Oh, okay, there you took me to 70. Right. Oh, hold on. That, he did 72, so I'm gonna I'm gonna life up first. Do -do -do -do. Mm. He keeps bumping his offense up, which does not bode well. I'm gonna hit him with the psi film. Uh, I think that's uh. a psi film. It just changes the, his resolution. Crap. You oh no, the psi shield stopped it. Okay. It's a, it's specifically a psychic shield. Just have to keep busting at him with this. Oh my god. Well, it's rather unfortunate then that all your attacks up. are are psi attacks. Yeah. When he hits us again, it's gonna be a fucking crisis. Especially if we keep missing like a retard. This is bizarre. Is that long black? Never mind. <laughs> Boom. Ding. Look at all that XP. What are you gonna do with all that XP? We leveled up in this crappy dungeon like four or five times. We we must have been under leveled for it. But that that boss fight didn't seem hard. It didn't seem nearly uh -huh. as hard as that that uh ant boss fight did. Uh oh. Uh, is it? Oh. Fought Perance. Oh my god, for dirters. Uh. <laughs> oh, it had to play that little song. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm seeing things. I close my eyes and all I can see is a baby in a red cap. <laughs> uh. Okay. Lilliput? That. That yeah, place with those tiny people from, uh, uh, Gulliver's Travels? I guess. I feel like something else should be here. Let's use our soundstone, see what it does. Oh. Select the second one. I can't. It's, it's not up to me. Okay, so each time we'll, we'll get a little bit more of that song, I guess. Oh, I didn't wasn't even paying attention to the music. Did it? Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, I played a little a little like piece of the sounds for each thing. So we, we've established that the the soundstone does not actually do anything. It's yeah, just if you were to record those sounds, it will play them back for you if you're into that kind of thing. Well, I mean, it it, it just it's a way of tracking our progress. We are yeah. apparently about two tenths of the way through this game. Yeah. Oh, he clawed me. It's like there we it's go. like getting the things at the end of the dungeon in a Zelda game or something. Yeah, you get you get some pendants, and then you get some crystals with some ladies in them. Man, don't you wish we were playing Zelda and not Earthbound? <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> Why did I choose this? Link to the Past Whatever. is a damn good game. Yeah. Earthbound is a good game. You know, as SNES games go, I think we made a pretty good choice. Yeah, we could do a lot worse. You guys should probably never, ever see the, just the games we play to oh, practice man. this concept. We could have done SWAT it. Cats. Show about some, yeah, SWAT cats. That, or, that uh, show would have consisted almost exclusively of me repeatedly saving the game and then loading it every three <laughs> seconds when I fucking died again. And we never could figure out how to beat that boss with the, with, oh, with the mirrors. I was playing him for like two hours. <laughs> it wasn't quite that it long, an, but... <laughs> it was a long time we just, that I spent crouching and shooting at that guy's knees. <laughs> we just kept finding him and we didn't know what to do. And the game provided no guidance whatsoever, and the enemies respawned, and... Ugh. What was the other game we played? We played another one, too. Yeah, we did, uh... Mm. Some of the platformer. Oh, well, I can't remember now. We briefly played a little bit of, I think, Final Fantasy IV? Or was that when well, I was just first showing right. you how... Well, when we were... When we were just trying to figure out how, how to connect with z SNES and yeah. so forth. We, I think we did. We also that. played something else that was just atrocious. I know. So cool. I'm trying to remember what that was. Oh, it was, uh, ah, real monsters. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that game was also an atrocity. I, th I don't think this, this kind of, this kind of show would work with anything that actually had a live system. Because otherwise it would have to be if you had a, a game with a live system, it'd have to be, like, all saves coming all the time. Well, yeah, we would just die over and over because we suck. If we were, like, prodigy video gamists, we might be able to pull it off, but... <laughs> also... But we're not. I, I mean, I kinda the, suck. the sort of, uh, leisurely pace of Earthbound lends yeah. it to our, to our brand of... When it's like a reflex-based game, the game is setting the pace. Right. And you have to keep up, and that would preclude us sitting here talking like total retards about other games we played. <laughs> Ooh. Wouldn't it be great if we, like, knew something Better about recognize. video games, though? It's kind of a contradiction <laughs> that we're doing this show, and yet we don't have any context, or we're re relying almost solely on our ability to have interesting conversation, which is dubious at best. Oh, for a second I, ho I was hoping I'd glitched out the game. I was gonna keep <laughs> bumping into that thing until we were like level 50. I was really hoping we would we could end for the day on that note, but... <laughs> on infinite bats? Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna kill as many bears as possible on the way out, so we'll, we'll be all like jacked up on levels. You think that's the Plus, same butterfly that just keeps coming back in different places? Like that big fairy in that one room in, in A Link to the Past? What? I didn't say anything. Yeah, what? Who are you? Oh, no, I remember what you were talking about. Yeah, you go to the big fairy and she gives you a bunch of her daughters or something. It's like, hey, yo, I heard she was into tiny fairies. And she talked like that, even though she was a lady, which was weird. You know, it, it, it still really bugs me that you never played uh, Ocarina of Time. I played it a little bit. I had it in 64, but I never beat it. But yeah, it does seem like that, that game was like a really big cultural touchstone. Uh, uh, but as we've established, I am at best a, you know, a B cultural literacy student. <laughs> Took that test. Not super good. Yeah. That, well, that test was a little bit biased, though. Yeah. It was my test from a uh, history of comm design class, and the first ten questions out of which you missed four were pretty specific to to art as a yeah. art history and that sort of thing. Wait, what is comm design? Is it like communications design? Yeah, communications design. Okay. Like when this is going to be all about, like, Segwayed into to like another totally different topic. Folks, the show is about art. And games as art. So tell me about shit that's not games. Well, okay, comm design is not art. Like, let's, let's be clear. When we talk about art, 
we're typically talking about something that's a little more self-reflective. Yeah. A little more... I mean, not to say For that, its own sake. I mean, com design, you, you know, in its sort of academic forms, is self-reflective. But, uh, it's more about the effect, less about the process. Uh, I don't know, yeah. I, I, I... We're talking about a dissertation here, about the differences between art and com design. But, com design yeah. is, is sort of an, the, uh... Uh, the Hang on one sec. Form. My sound is spazzing out, and our viewers are gonna hate that. Oh really? Do we need yeah, to end? Like... No, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna restart these things real quick, and it's gonna it's, it might sound weird. It might it might it might drop out for a sec. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll entertain right. the audience while you do that. I'll get my tap shoes on and do this little dance. And you have successfully entertained the audience for the entire amount of time it took you to do that. Great. You did well. Well, we'll let the audience uh, the judge of that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Stop imitating our audience. <laughs> I'm imitating uh, our audience for... See, that's art. What? That sort of, you know, uh... What would be the term? Oh, whatever. It's not art. I'm just being goofy. But, <laughs> um... I don't know what's happening right now, but it's not art. Com design is a little more concerned with the uh, ability of of its products to influence uh, the audience in a particular way. To okay, so this would be like the kind of thing that like learning about how to how to design commercials would be involved. Sure, in. that is that is a that is a question for a com designer, not for an artist. Mm. Gosh, you're still getting red with these crows? He hit me in the back. Uh, I didn't think he would attack me. Um. But anyway, yeah. So. In, in history of com design, we're studying things like the use of typography and. The right. I forgot how we even got on this. Oh, we were talking about our cultural literacy test. Yeah. We had a cultural literacy test because a com designer needs to be a well rounded sort of humanistic. Yeah. Uh, you gotta know your audience, which means you gotta be... You gotta, yeah, you gotta know your audience and you gotta know sort of general cultural things. And on that test we had questions like, uh, there's that one about Scooby-Doo. <laughs> as well as that one about Caravaggio. Yeah. So, which I missed. You did miss that one. Well, we missed it because ours are gays, yo. Man, Ugh. the gays sure do have it well. Indeed, there's all kinds of great things just for them. The... It really makes you want to be a homosexual when you realize that they have access to art. <laughs> they get everything good. I don't know, maybe I should reevaluate my my preference. <laughs> just look, look at all these benefits. Suddenly I'm having sex with other men and I just, you know, life g gains a whole new aesthetic dimension. <laughs> Crazy people like to say that the gays are recruiting in our nation's schools and whatnot. You know, you know, get all these benefits. Recruiting doesn't sound like a bad idea. I mean, yeah. No! And plus, I mean, you don't even have to have sex with women anymore. <laughs> yeah, how great would that be? I was always concerned about the cooties. I don't know where else where to go next. Uh, I you need to go back you, into... you probably go back to the Happy Village. Oh, I did, and then like maybe we need to go into the cult building now. Wait, I mean, yeah, because Naomi told us about the um the I... the bad guy, so maybe you didn't talk let to us through now. You just sort of wandered around for a minute. I was hoping there would be an event. I was hoping that nutcase with the top hat would come spinning down from the sky Dude. and freak out on us. Well, he's all about photography. He's not even relevant. <laughs> um, I I really think you're thinking too much for this game to have a sort of scripted event like that. Yeah. I think you're gonna have to talk to some fool. Start talking to NPCs and see if they've changed their tune. Uh, by the way. Yes. When you get to a stopping place, we are at the 20 minute mark. All right, let's uh, let's talk to some of these fools. What do you got to say, Pigpen? I think you should. Uh, oh, so it, this kid was right next to the door, too. Uh, was the anti-blue place scary? 
Um, no, my son. Hold on. Let's think be not what, afraid. Let's think. Okay. He is a member of the cult. Yes. So, if you say yes, he's going to understand you. That's not helping my thought process. <laughs> I can't stop. If you say uh, no, saying, no it wasn't. he might think mm. that you're super tough and realize that being a member of this cult isn't all it's cracked up to be. I'm gonna say, I'm also gonna say no because he needs to understand that being not blue can also lead to happiness. We need to deprogram this kid. My name is Lars and I'm a cult deprogrammer. So I was watching an Let's episode die. of Doug yesterday. You know Good Doug, show. right? Yeah. And da, 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 this da, chick da, 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 da. at their school uh, was going around lying about being able to speak an exotic foreign oh, no. language. And Doug supposed that... <laughs> oh. Sorry, this guy's named Unassuming Local Guy. Oh, we've seen him before. Yeah. Anyway, so, so Doug supposed that if he exposed her lie in front of, yeah. you know, everyone, that she would suddenly realize the error of her ways and apologize and everything would be great. Hmm. I'll let you process that for a minute, and why that's simply a bad idea. But, uh, so he does that, and it turns out she was only lying about being able to speak the language and all the other things she was, she was saying about being rich and having famous relatives and all that happened to be true. And, and that was Oh, hey, look, these, sorry, these guys move out of the way now. Yeah. They're, they're impressed by your toughness, by your yeah. extreme macho, and your ability to... I beat to... the hell out of that starmy over there. <laughs> so now they they refuse to front. So what did you get from that box I wasn't reading? Uh, croissant. croissant. Yeah. yeah. A little, little piece of the old croissant. So why does Pillsbury like... call their, their croissant crescent roll and not croissant? Uh, good question. Oh no! Blue, blue, my world is. I, I think I've already made that joke. Yeah, yeah. And then I also made the, the follow up joke. I'm blue, comma, daba d, daba die. I'm blue, Dabba semicolon, daba d, daba die, dash, m dash. Whoa, you are, you are blowing my mind here. I'm blue. Da, comma, boo, d. Man, I don't know where this is going. No, it's no, no, it's no, it's not good. Uh. Open that box. It's like Christmas up in here. I didn't read. Whoa, that. is that? A, I think I just saw a typo. Oh, never mind. I thought they they put only one O and two. Oh, your stuff. your inventory's full. Okay, so. Uh, get rid of that, get rid of that thing that you had to use for that boss. Oh, the, the Franklin badge? I think, I think we didn't use that. I think that's for Mr. Car Painter. Um, you know what? Maybe we weren't supposed to go get that. Maybe we were supposed to have Naomi with us. Maybe that's why that part was so hard. Didn't Naomi give us the Franklin badge? No, I mean, she, I think she gave it to us so we'd go fight Car Painter. And then once we beat Car Painter, we're supposed to, have to go get Naomi, and then go get the the Lilliputian steps or whatever. I wonder if I can ditch this pencil eraser. No. You have a lot of Lame. quest items and not very much inventory space. Yeah, it's really annoying. Well, hold on, you didn't get the item. I did. Oh. It was a skip sandwich. Oh, what did you throw away? I, ate I, a... I... I just totally missed that. <laughs> I ate a cookie. Oh. Because they only give up six HP. I broke this dude's face in with a kajigger. See, I think this is where we're supposed to be, because we were just blitzing these guys. Useless. I imagine, like, uh, it has all this same sprite over and over. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. I just imagine right? a, a designer for this game with the spray symbol 
paintbrush or something like they have an illustrator, <laughs> and he just paints these guys all over this room. I don't know how game design works. If that's if there's even an analogous sort of sort of tool, or even if some ana analogous sort of uh, you know graphics interface game yeah. design client existed in 1993. I assume it did not, because computers were pretty dang primitive compared yeah. to... Well, there was Photoshop. <laughs> ah! I'm so the guy screamed at us. I'm pretty sure there was Photoshop in 1993. I don't know. When did Photoshop start? Uh, you know what I have? The internet? A computer. Oh! I have to transfer my microphone to another area of the table, though, so I don't suddenly lose voice in this. But inside baseball on this episode. Uh, well, why you think we should not? stop it here and then burst into Mr. Carpainter's office? I want to tell everybody when Photoshop came around first. Find out about Photoshop, and then we'll go beat the tar out of Mr. Carpainter. Oh, you want to go ahead and face Mr. Carpainter this time? Uh, no, I think we should s oh. What are these guys doing? Stop uh, them, go. Talk to him. To eternity with you! Okay. Oh. Bye, I can help guy. you out with that, homie. Done! Wow, you weren't kidding. You really are blitzing through these guys. Yeah, I think I think we just did that section out of order, which is why it was so hard. So it's not just three guys running in circles. Okay. You're done. Hmm. Uh, you think we should stop here or just move is or proceed? Uh we'd have to go all the way back to Are we sure this is gonna be a fight? Yeah, I'm, she gave us a special item for dealing with his, like, attacks, so oh. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a boss fight. Let's do it next time. Alright. Well, what do you this, think? This has been a pretty good Link's episode. Yeah, we're, we're, we're already running over time, so let's go, yeah. let's save here. Let's and call it. I keep, I keep thinking we have to go back to, like, an inn or something to save, and that's not true. No, it? baby, this is Zeesness. Yeah. Save that state. Okay. So. 16 megabyte file. So that's it, right. folks. I can't. I can't find the, in in a cursory glance when Photoshop first started. Oh. 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 Six, six months break from studies in 1988 to collaborate with his brother on the program. Tell us. Photoshop 1.0 was released in 1990. So that's that. Huh. Thank you, Wikipedia. And now you know. And knowing is half the battle. So that's a good way to end this episode with a little bit of knowledge. It's educational. Yeah. I wonder if we can, if we can like get government Fly subsidies some kind of, or something. Ah, uh, like yeah. Being educational. What we, what we need, we need that commercial with that dude in the suit that's color covered in like exclamation points. He's like, you can get fifty thousand dollars to open a toy store. I think you know, that guy. <laughs> I think it's covered in question marks. Isn't it? Oh, I'd, it, wouldn't that be some kind of like copyright violation? Ain't that the Riddler's thing? <laughs> the Riddler isn't covered in question marks. He wears just like a green suit. He totally is covered in question marks. We'll discuss this later. Okay. Out of the view of the public. Never contradict me in front of the public. If the Riddler is out there, go ahead and respond to our video <laughs> in the comments. Write to us. At Nickelodeon Studios, P.O. Box 963, New York City, New York State, 10108.